The CAT 336EH Hybrid is designed to conserve fuel, optimize hydraulic performance, and capture and reuse energy that conventional excavators waste as heat. To conserve fuel, the machine's engine runs at a relatively low 1,500 RPM, and a newly designed main valve enhances overall hydraulic efficiency. The 336EH captures the kinetic energy of swing deceleration as high-pressure hydraulic oil, storing the oil in accumulators at the back of the machine. The oil is then used to drive the swing motor, reducing pump and engine loads. The result, says Caterpillar, is that the 336EH uses 25% less fuel, on average, compared with its conventional counterpart, the 336E. Construction equipment recently had the opportunity to compare the performance of these two machines side by side. Our operators for the comparison were Mike Staley, a training instructor with the Operating Engineers Local 649 near Peoria, and Mike High, Local 649's training director. The site was Caterpillar's Edwards Demonstration and Learning Center, just outside Peoria, where the operators used the machines in a trenching application for loading trucks at 90 and 180 degrees, and for maneuvering a manhole box to evaluate lifting capacity. After the operators had spent the better part of the morning with the two machines, we asked for their impressions. Both of them are very nice machines to run, without a doubt. Uh, the improvement on the hybrid is pretty impressive, it really is. Mm -hmm. uh, what little I knew or heard about it, uh, I didn't expect it to quite perform as well as it did, that much better than the standard. From the operator standpoint, uh, it's smooth and the power that it has, and it's amazing that it's doing it at 1500 RPMs. It took me a little bit to get used to the speed. Mm -hmm. you know, I, kind of like Mike, I, I didn't have real high expectations coming out here, didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. um, but I can definitely see like, we're just dirt hands, and that's what we're used to there you know if you're not swinging or throwing dirt there's yeah. something wrong and right. yeah, I can see it really uh, improving the footage or the movement of the dirt during the day yeah that uh it's pretty impressive uh, the power it had and then once again remembering that it was a lower rpm really reinforced that, that yeah. It, yeah you don't think about I didn't think about when I was running it because you still had all the power and the smoothness and had more speed get a little finer control with the hybrid yeah I would agree with that. I think they're they're similar there. You have a little finer control with the hybrid. Mm -hmm. uh, once you've been on that hybrid for a day or two, or for an hour or two really, um, mm -hmm. you're going to pick up the timing with it a little better. You both talked a little bit about um, perceptions and expectations going in, you know, with a hybrid that you, you didn't know a lot about it. What would you tell your, your contractor friends now that you've run the hybrid machine? if, if they were asking you, what's this thing all about? Is this, is this really going to produce like a standard machine? What would you tell them? Yes. <laughs> yes. That it, uh, if you've got serious pipe to put in the ground footage, uh, it's probably going to pay for itself very shortly. Yeah. You know, for somebody that's never heard about it, it's like us coming in this morning, uh, somebody would have told me. If, I, if somebody was an operator telling me that it was quicker and I could move more dirt with it, I'd probably believe them. Nothing against salesmen. If a salesman told me that, I'd, I'd have to get on it myself. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if I, if I work for a contractor and he asked me he's looking to get a new machine, mm -hmm. you know, I'd say, get them both out here and time me on them. You know, that'll show you the difference, but I can, I can tell you there's a difference. 